Growing up, my family did Christmas to perfection, or at least I thought so. Every year, my mother would inaugurate the season by setting up our nativity on the living room mantel. It was a beautiful, hand-carved set from Germany that my grandparents had gifted to my parents, one piece at a time, over a period of a few years. Unfortunately, my grandmother didn't always get the size and color right, and so we had a few odd pieces that didn't quite fit with the set. This shepherd is one of those. I found him at my parents' house after they had both passed away, and my siblings and I had to decide what to do with 50 years' worth of family Christmas decorations. After setting aside the mismatched pieces, my older sister took the family nativity set, and I took the shepherd because I couldn't bear the thought of him getting thrown out, and he conjures up all kinds of family memories of Christmas, especially everything my mother did each year to make it as picture-perfect as possible. I didn't always understand my mother's motivation, and as I grew into my teen years, I actually found her perfectionism rather annoying. But looking back on all those perfect Christmases, I realized that my mom's efforts and sacrifices were concrete expressions of her love. This brings me to a beautiful passage from Christus Vivit that reminds me of everything my parents did for our family. I hope you'll find it meaningful too. Dear young friends, realize that there is beauty in the laborer who returns home grimy and unkempt, but with the joy of having earned food for his family. There is extraordinary beauty in the fellowship of a family at table, generously sharing what food it has. There's beauty in the wife, slightly disheveled and no longer young, who continues to care for her sick husband despite her own failing health. Long after the springtime of their courtship has passed, there is beauty in the fidelity of those couples who still love one another in the autumn of life, those elderly people who still hold hands as they walk. There is also beauty unrelated to appearances or fashionable dress, in all those men and women who pursue their personal vocation with love, in selfless service of community or nation, in the hard work of building a happy family, in the selfless and demanding effort to advance social harmony. To define and highlight this beauty, which is like that of Christ on the cross, is to lay the foundations of a genuine social solidarity and a culture of encounter. As Christmas Day draws near and the frenzy of holiday preparations goes into overdrive, if you are young, I hope you'll take the time to step back and appreciate the fidelity of your parents or grandparents. Be grateful for their sacrifices and their loving efforts to decorate and cook their way to the traditional Christmas celebrations that will form the memories you'll pass on to your children. And if you're older, Take consolation in realizing that even if no one says anything, your efforts at the service of your family don't go unnoticed, and that you are creating an invaluable legacy for the younger generations to cherish. As you reflect on our Holy Father's words this week, I hope you will envision older people you know who demonstrate what the Pope said about the beauty of family and fellowship, fidelity and loving service. Send us a photo that illustrates the Pope's words and we'll post it on social media.